Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Metallicaid41. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to put the SIOS D2X on your Wii. You need this SIOS in order to play the, the Wii Flow, the new one, the 3.0 that just came out a couple weeks ago, I believe. I think that's an incredible USB loader. Um, it runs pretty much every game. Um, I was using the USB loader GX for a while, but I updated it and it messed up all my games. So I'm using Wii Flow now. I'm running my Wii on 4.3U. So uh, to get started, um, don't believe a lot of videos out there. I'm trying to install the 249 iOS on there. Doesn't work. I've tried it. I tried Dope Me, Trusha Bug, everything you can imagine, uh, and none of them worked. So I'm going to be showing you one that worked for me. So first, go online. You got to look up D2X Siles Installation Guide. It's on the WeHacks.com. going to open to this. It's going to tell you all the features, everything you need to know. You go to the installation guide. It tells you all the features on it, what you need to do. I changed the log. You don't need that. What you need is the D2X Siles installer version 3.1. You need to get that, uh, unzip it, put your SD card, put it in the apps folder, and then download the map 236 that you see right there. Uh, you need to rename that to sciomaps.xml uh, and put it inside the sciomaps installer um, folder and just leave it in there. It'll be in there with the boot dot doll. What you do need is your IOSs, which are your patches for your for your games. There's a pack in here for all these IOSs, which are pretty important. But uh, this is kind of like an advanced guide. You should already have these IOS in there inside the wad folder um, you also need to download the iOS 249 rev 19 or higher and the iOS 250 um, I think I don't know the rev but it's I'll show it to you right now um, oh there it is iOS 240 with the base well that doesn't matter um, so, for, so yeah, so get those iOS 249 and 250, download them. Uh, I can't supply them for you. Um, you're just gonna have to look for them. They're pretty easy to get. But what Nintendo did is they patched all the iOS 249s and 250s, all the customs, um, in order to prevent pir pirating. So they pretty much got all the iOSs and they patched them and we were all screwed because we had to find a way to unpatch them and this is a way for you to unpatch your the iOS 249 and install it and play the new Wii Flow which plays a lot of games so first after you're done downloading the, the installer and putting the maps in there go back to your Wii Homebrew channel. You go to the D2X iOS installer. So, pretty much, it's telling you about your console, do it on your own wrist. I'm not responsible for it. Press any button and continue. 
So, what you need to do after you have those IOS install, well, have them in your WAD, the 249 and 250, you go to the website, which I showed you, and it will tell you how to install them. Select iOS 36, which will pretty much your Wii is going to run on 36 or 236. You don't got to worry about that. Select the SIOS, um, install the D2X, which is up there, D2X version 6. And then you're going to do the iOS 56. So you go left in order to change the base on it. It's not 37, but I'm not going to change it because I already did this. Then select SIO slot 249. So it's at 249 right now. Press A. So you press A on it, and it should install it. Um, then you go to the 250 with the base of 57 and you do it for that too and it'll install it will patch your your Wii and you'll have the 249 and the 250 patched and you'll be good to go so I'm exiting so this is the new Wii flow it pretty much if you try to play it and you don't have the SIOS or the IOS, I mean 249, it won't let you play it. Um, that's why I'm showing you that you need this installer in order to install the 249 on it. One of the new games that just came out that uses the 249 is the new, where is it? At? It's the new Kirby game. There it is. Kirby Return to Dreamland. So I'm playing it, it's running fine. A lot of people are having this issue because they haven't installed the 249 and they're using the older Wii Flow or the USB loader. So here you go. So just follow the guides, get the, um, the IOSes on the WAD folders. Those where you need the IOSes in order to do this. Put the IOS 249 and the IOS 2, uh, 250 on the WAD folder. This is for advanced users. If you know what you're doing, then do it. It's easy. Um, thank you. Um, subscribe or whatever you want. Um, thank you for watching.